So this is the soap done. This is the sunflower one. So there's the palm of my hand. So it's a pretty good size. Right? Now these actually took about 48 hours to cure. Now a lot of that depends on how much um, essential oil you add and it also depends on the temperature of the soap. I guess I mean when you put the lye into the mixture of the olive oil. Now that does matter. So there's the roses there. Like I said earlier, the sunflowers are my favorite because of how they fit so perfectly in your hand. And they smell wonderful. There's the next here. The, so these are the hearts. I'm very pleased with them. They, they turned out really nicely. They're just such a nice soap. Uh, I love the shapes. A lot of soap you see for sale ha is just square. It's just cut. And it's, I think it's kind of nice to have a shape. So there's the gingerbread dude. You see, they're fun. Like, how come a, a little guy wouldn't love to go in the house and wash his hands when you have cool little soaps like that? These are other soaps that I had made before. So again, there's the rose. And I have little tiny ones like this. These are unscented. They're little, little, little ones that are kind of nice for um, your spare bathroom. And then I have even ones that are shaped like dinosaurs. Because I sell this soap on online. And these ones are lavender. I have actual lavender sprinkled on the top of them. Love these. And they do smell really nice. But I have sold the soap. I have given it away. And I have um, amazing reviews. That one broke. Mm -hmm. Trying to take it out of the mold. And, I, you know, some of the molds, I guess, you know, they're not meant for soap. I don't know. But, but they, uh... Some of them are very, very delicate anyways, but I do have in, in my other room here, I have soap that I have for sale. And it's awesome. Like all the soap that I have that I'm taking to sell, actually, I'm going into Charlottetown on the 25th, so that's going to be exciting. And I'm going to take in all my soap and stuff there. So here's soap here. So I have these here as well. They're um, little kind of like bunt cake shapes. But they're nice. Uh, a lot of people buy these uh, for their spare bathrooms, which is great. What else? I had a lot of little dinosaur soaps that I, I give them away, like my little nephews and stuff. But they love that kind of stuff. And there's heart-shaped ones, star ones. And then, of course, I have my chocolate tea in here. I'm going to take that and sell that to in town, too. And that's the bigger chunks. People seem to want the bigger chunks. I guess it's just because... It lasts a little bit longer, but anyhow, that's how the soaps turned out, and I was very pleased with them, so I really hope that someone enjoys these videos and, and um, appreciates them, because I, that's how I learned how to make the soap. My parents made soap when I was little growing up, but, but um, I had never done it on my own, and it was very exciting. There's some of the uh, napkin rings that we sell and make, too, in our store. I sold a lot of these. People really love birch. I have spruce ones in here, too. Those are really cool. I love these. 
I sold a couple of sets of these too. They have nice green on them. Yeah. My coasters. Those are nice birch ones too. And they stayed beautifully flat. But anyhow. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video on soap. And I hope maybe you even try to make some someday. That would be awesome. And let me know too in the comments down below what you think of the soap. And if you ever want to try to make some. Okay, bye for now.